Hi. My name is Moyash. The install.inf file is a setup information file which is needed to install new cursor themes in Windows. In this video, I will show you how to create this install.inf file. So, let's begin. I have here a source file of install.inf. And in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will modify this source file to be a complete installer file for a new cursor theme. The most easy way to open this file is to open Notepad, then drag and drop the file here. Here it is. Let's maximize this window. As you see, the file consists of three parts. The first part is some codes to help the file doing its job. No need to change or modify this codes. In the second part here, you will type the names of the new cursors including extensions, as I will show you after a while. In the third part here, you will give a job for each cursor. I, other words, in this part you will define the new cursors. And in this part you will assign an action for each cursor. And that's all about it. Let me give you an example of doing that. But first, you must know that you need 17 new cursors to completely change Windows default cursors. I have here 17 new cursors. I created them myself. First thing to be done here is to show the extension of each file. Go to View tab and check the box beside File Name Extensions. That will add an extension to the file name. As you see, .cur, .ani, and even the install file became install.inf. Let's move this one to a side and this one to the other side. Now, I will replace these black circles by the names of the new cursors. Click on each cursor, then click on the name, and select the whole name including the extension. Right-click, and choose Copy. Here, select the whole black circles. Right-click, and choose Paste. Let's repeat it for another one. Select the whole name, including extension. Copy. Select the whole circles. And paste. And you must know. There is no need to put them in order. As I said before, we here just define the new cursors.
the last one. Copy. And paste. Now, we finished defining the new cursors. The next step is to give a job for each cursor. We need first to type the folder name. Right click inside the folder and click properties. Select the name of the folder. Right click and choose copy. Highlight these circles. Then right click and choose paste. Now you need to give a suitable name for the scheme which will appear in the schemes list. Highlight the black circles and type from keyboard. I will name it x moyash Please remember this scheme name. Next, these are Windows mouse actions. The first action is the pointer which is the main cursor appearing on your screen. We need now to replace these black circles by the name of a custom cursor. And we will do that for each mouse action. To be aware of the different mouse actions, I made a help image file containing each action name and the default mouse shape. Let's put it on this side. And move this folder to the other side. Now, this is the default shape of pointer. And I want to replace it by this new cursor named normal select. Minimize this window. Here, copy the name of the chosen cursor, including the extension. And paste it here instead of the black circles. The next action is help. Here is how it looks. And it will be replaced by this one named help select. Select the name from here. Right-click and copy. Highlight the black circles. Right-click and paste. The next one is work. Here is how it looks. And it will be replaced by this one named working in background. It is an animated cursor ending by dot a n i. Select copy highlight paste next is busy this one here and i will replace it by this one named busy copy and paste the next is text. Here is how it looks. And here is the new one named text select. Copy text select dot cur. Highlight. Paste. Next unavailable. This one here. And this is the new one named unavailable. Cur. Copy from here. And paste it here. Next, vert. Here it is. And, here is, the new one, named, Vertical, Resize. Select, Vertical, Resize, dot, C-U-R, and, paste it, here. 
Next, something called Hor Z. It refers to this one here. And here is the new one named Horizontal Resize. Copy. And paste. B, G, N, 1. This one here. Will be replaced by this one here named diagonal resize 1. Copy. And paste. B, G, N, 2. This one here. Will be replaced by this one here named diagonal resize 2. Copy. And paste. The action named move. This one here. And I will use this closed hand here. Named move. Copy. And paste. Next is link. The famous one here. And it will be replaced by this one here. Named link select. Copy. And paste. Next is cross. Replaced by precision select. Copy. And paste. Next is hand. Which is this pencil here. Replaced by another pencil named handwriting. Next is alternate. The new one is alternate select. It is up here. Copy alternate select dot cur. And paste it here. Next is location. This one here. And here is the new one named location select. Copy. And paste. The last action is person. Here is how it looks. For this action, I will use the new cursor named person select. Go to the install.inf file. Select the person select.cur. Highlight the black circles. Then right click and paste. Now the inf file is ready.
go to File Menu and click Save. We don't need this image anymore. Let's minimize this image. And let me try it for you. And see if it will work. Close it and move the install.inf file to the cursors folder. Here it is. Now, all we need to do is right-click on the file and choose install. But let me first show you what will happen when you click install. Let's right-click on the desktop and choose personalize. Here, click on themes, then mouse cursor. And close this one. Now, when you run the install file, it will add a new scheme to the schemes list here. In my case, the scheme name is x moyash And the install file will take a copy of these cursors and store them in the cursors folder in C partition. Let me show you this process. Go to C partition. Windows folder. Cursors. Let's put this folder on a side. Now, right-click the install file and choose install. As you see, a new folder generated here, including the 17 cursors without the installer file. Close that and close that. Now, let's check the cursors list. Right-click, Personalize, Themes, Mouse Cursor, and here is x dash moyash Let's choose it. And here are the 17 cursors. To apply it, click Apply. Yes. OK. One last thing I want to say. All files used in this video will be uploaded to my account on Pling.com. And I will put the link in the description below this video. I hope this helped. Don't forget to subscribe. And consider donating to Moyash on Patreon or PayPal. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.